All right, so here I have the canvas fabric laid out. I got my pattern down. As you can see, this is like eight ounce canvas. I got these as a drop cloth from Home Depot. Yeah, so I just have my pattern on it now and I'm gonna cut it in half to get the enough length for two of these to come out. All right. All right, so here is the canvas cut about to the size I'm gonna need. As you can see here, I got a couple of inches here. If I flip this pattern over, get, you know, it fits about there too. So, there you go. So, just need to cut this out and uh, see what we get. All right, so here is the outer layer of canvas for the tunic. So I changed the design, decided to make it a pullover tunic because I didn't want to do buttons. But to make sure that nothing frayed, I used this Mod Podge fabric and I went around all the edges and kind of put it together. So uh, that's the first layer done. All right, so here, I just finished doing the whole head and sewed around the edges. I'm gonna use bias tape and cover this up, make it look real nice. So there you go, that is with the neck hole cut in. All right, so as you can see, I did the trim where I don't want the seams to be exposed here the neck too I also started quilting it and to make sure that it doesn't come apart I've also glued all the knots I made to hold it in place so far I don't think it's warped that much so we'll uh, see how she goes Alright, so here it is completed. Now I did skip over a bunch of stuff, like actually quilting it. As you can see, you know, it uh, turned out pretty nice. Let's see, I'm about 30 hours of quilting, you know, but uh, here you are. That is it.